Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Elst Outskirts. Playing for today's pointing in the south. We have Kalyon playing as Brits, who has Royal Engineers, Commandos, and Vanguard. Team got them as Coma playing as US Forces. His Airborne, Rough Company, and Infantry. Based off against them in the north, we have uh, Google Translate tells me this is Oldest Satan. Pojule Satana, apparently. Straight away going for Mechanized Assault as Osir and Yui playing as Osir also who has Elite Troops, Egg Armor and Storm. In terms of rankings here on the Allies, Coma around rank 100, Kalyon around 30. Um, I forget which way around it is. One of these players is around rank 30. Oh, not 30, around rank 130. And then the other's around rank 200, but is a uh, top 100 with every other faction in the game, so figured I'd still uh, give it a cast. Should be more competitive. Maybe that ranking it initially indicates. Did manage to complete the sandbags with the pioneers before the section arrived and finish off the wire, though. Plus, you know, high rank Brits barely even counts, right? <laughs> <laughs> Spoken to somebody who hit rank 13 as Brits on 1v1. Yeah. Rather than trying to sneak around, but enough of a line of sight there for the machine gun to box them out. I was charging in. Didn't take any mod drops on approach. Yeah, other section arriving. Easily going to overpower and could even lose this Pyo. The squad not chasing out of cover though, so missed opportunity there. Don't worry, he is waiting behind heavy cover. Push on to the fuel. Right one coming in from the rear, but double green is should be able to fend them off. Doesn't have enough firepower with that other rifle squad back at base at the moment. Oh, he's got grenades though. Okay, that'll swing things around. This is the retreat. Looking for the D crew as well, but dropping models too quickly to the double grenadiers. There they go. Grenades as well from Kalyon up in the north. A few corpses there. In fact, was that a squad wipe? It looks like it. So double nades early on for both of the allied players. You know, it's been pretty popular recently uh, as US forces. But we're supposed to see as Brits as well. Grenades out. That was a real big mistake leaving the machine gun. We have lost an MG team. It's decrewed. MG sitting up. But unable to suppress before the steal. And that is a big win for Kalyon up in the north. Meanwhile down the bottom though. Homer struggling for territory control. So things are going right for the axis down the bottom at least. Our headquarters has been improved. Captain coming out now. Light mechanized infantry. Machine gun getting overwhelmed again. Four sections as well as a stolen machine gun now for Kalyon. And uh, going for a C side tick at the moment. Make sure I'm getting overwhelmed by the green ears down here. Chased away. Sections coming into the retreat path though. This could be nasty. A lob of grenades. Looks like it was slightly mistimed and off angle as well. Green is getting a nice flank on this section. Oh boy, what are they doing? They reposition slightly and then they just die. So after a strong start, Kalyon making a pretty big mistake. No retreat. Squad down. 
to be on your guard for these grenades now. His older Satan. Good dodge on that one. Kind of damaging his own squad for about a quarter of their health. And now a mortar out for older Satan. May help a little bit against this stolen machine gun. But you know, if you play as, your opponent's playing the style with more mobile sections with the grenades running and gunning, you might not get too much value out of your mortar. So if that machine gun hadn't been stolen, I don't know if I'd be favoring a mortar at this exact timing. AZ coming in for Kalyon next. So phase so one complete now for Old Satan. We're behind in terms of tech. 2 2 2 out for his teammate. Just again looking for some bleeds. AZ could be on the field by about now, so. Be careful of that as the offset play. Don't want to dive in too deep, especially with no snaring squads anywhere close by to help with the 2 2 2's escape. Since the AC is so fast, don't stand much of a chance of outrunning it. Switching over to the rifleman now. Makes us on the back foot. We have lost a lot of territory. 2 2 2 doing some good work. Could have maybe cleared off this wire, come in for a couple crush. Maneuvers. Can help with their control through the center. Same story, Pios could have put some wire down on this tank trap in the center as well, or maybe put down some sandbags. Missing a little bit of a extra effectiveness there. And there's the hide. Pretty good hit from the AEC there, though. Trying to bait it around the corner, looking to get the snare off, unsuccessful. No engineers at the moment for Kalyon, so if it does take engine damage, it's going to be very slow coming back into action. There's no vehicle crew repairs yet either, that's at 6 command points. So Kalyon has to be very, very careful. This AEC is locked into his vanguard, by the way. There we go. Jumps into the building, steals the position. Jumps out very quickly. <laughs> hey, half track coming in for Coma. They're very, very late though. Okay, this about two minutes ago. Looks like uh, air dropped 50 cal as well on the field now. See chipping away in the north. 250. The Pegreens inside. Potent wiping squad. Not agreeing with the Shrek, so using them in anti infantry role in this section. Oh, goes down to the mortar. 250 didn't even really matter too much, and the AEC having a bit of a traffic jam issue and caught up on the trees. 250 easily dodging away to safety after that. Cal jumped out of the building, coming across to assist. We have a half track rolling in now as well. We do machine gun over here for Yui, but actually no anti tank gun yet. This is a half track could be very, very effective in spite of its late timing. Oh, there goes the 250. A little bit too slow backing away. AC coming in from the size. A half track doesn't want to commit. It's at a low amount of health where it could take two fouls and conceivably die. So Koma playing this correctly. Trying to stay at range and avoid that possibility. And you know, that's what the Grandies really had to do, just threaten the Faust. Keep that 222 safe. Buy some time for the pack to construct. But yeah, double light vehicles now for the allies and only one anti-tank gun for the Axis. 
cause them some troubles. We got the team weapons flanked by the captain. Grenades out. Oh, this could be a wipe. Where's the captain going? Oh no. Oh, missed opportunity there. Big time. In. We're losing a capture point. Didn't get too much damage done though. Commando's out now for Calium. Still no engineers though, it's risky. I don't think I've seen any mines go down, but they very easily could be. Oh wow! Bug Faust, haven't seen that for a while in a replay. Uh, no engine damage on their half track because of that. The bad luck. For all the season. T gun here now. A half track. Oh, has to be on his toes very quick. Too slow. Driving forwards, in fact. Horrible misplay there from Coma. to be really on your toes when using those half tracks they died two shots from the anti-tank gun gives you a lot less wiggle room than you get with something like the t70 or the stewart be really on point with your control i'll stay out for calion trying to crawl forwards throw out some artillery on the base howitzers down onto that building. Just we're in here doing some big damage. We have an AT gun for Coma just in the field now though, so it can't really assist. Taking advantage of the fact that the armor piercing rounds don't go on cooldown when they pack up. Just means to keep that off the field for a touch longer. Oh, it looks like this machine gun maybe set up on attack move. Accidentally pushing forwards there. Clear up over here. That pyro squad could take a nasty bout of damage. I'm trying to pressure them. They do have the Vet 2 bonus, so... We'll win that engagement in spite of coming into it quite low in health. I've been trying to get close enough now for the snare on the 2-2-2. Not able to do so. We are losing a sector. Oh, one of the commandos went down. Up here, maybe. Pretty sure Calion had two just before. Yep, and it's dead. Another 250. Mm. Time for this kind of play is kind of coming towards an end. I mean, I don't think personally I'd probably go for this. My opponent had a AC on the field anyway. Now, you know, it's getting close to medium tank timing. Can't imagine this is going to go terribly well for all the season. Going forwards here. We've got the pack somewhat nearby. AC misses the first shot. Decides to disengage because of it. Nice attack ground though. Oh boy, now it's getting caught on the tank traps. But yeah, bad territory control. The access over the last couple minutes. Battle phase coming in now for Older Satan. We'd be very close to a tank if he hadn't fielded these two mechanized assault groups. Now a mortar pit coming down for Kalyon. Strong position covering two VPs with it. 
Gonna make it very tough for the Axis to cap them. MG camped out the back here as well. Ooh, Green News didn't quite come wide enough. They're very lucky that they managed to get that rifle nade off. Didn't get suppressed quite in the nick of time. Mano's with the ambush. Ooh, Pyo's down in the center. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. He's got the pack back there. AC just out of range of it though. Troops are advancing. Get some nice suppression going. Bazookas looking. Oh, only one bazooka on the rear echelon. Grenade out from the grenadiers, missing. So that was a stun grenade. They've got the regular grenade now because. Oh, no retreats. They retreat. It's got a down. Preventable retreat that one. Maybe he hadn't factored in that these troops have bars now. Boosted up their DPS by quite a lot. Little P Green's coming in. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Can't get the wipe though. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Ooh, close call. I'm well out now for Kellyon up in the north. What's next then? Sherman for Coma. With them uh, touch late getting the tanks out, maybe a little bit strapped for manpower. Off and onto the commandos. A bit behind cover though, so didn't drop any models to that. Center. Oh, mine triggered by mortar shells. Ready to roll. Our attacking hammer tactics are ready for use. And now I heard Kalyon with the hammer, so now has access to the heavy barrage. Runs up in the north as well. Pretty well defended. Chasing it around. Medium tank timing now. Is he going to try to save for the tiger? Come through the center. Now down to the bottom. Pack way out of position at the moment for this. Green Deers. Tough retreat path. Sherman not switching targets. Okay, now it is. Bit of blocking. Whoops. Oh, pack through the center. Actually, his teammates sent a tank gun. He might save the day. No. Squad down. Nice attack round, though. Panzer IV. A little bit slow starting the chase itself. Pack round in the corner, though. Oh, there it goes. Snipes it off. Smoke coming through from the captain, but a tiny bit too late. Sure, with some awkward parving. Oh, looks like a Grenadier squad lost the LMG. 250 coming forwards on the commandos with a Pigri inside. That's one way to get rid of them. Here comes the AC Cromwell combo, though. It might not last for long. Getting sight blocked by this little shrub. Oh, and there we go. Nice attack round from the AEC. Down goes the 250. Only one P Green model died, but lost one more to follow up damage. Here comes the Panzer IV through the center, though. AEC could be in some trouble. Backing away. There's a four. Oh, giving it some breathing room. Oh, but he's. Be lucky with that Panzer IV landing all those shots. AC does end up going down. 
Kelly on a little bit low in terms of uh, munitions. Otherwise, maybe could have seen some tree shot action to assist with the escape. And well, make use of the vehicle crew repairs. Back in action now. Connection light artillery barrage going to try and stop these squads from chasing any further. Cromwell missing. Oh, that's a lot of damage. T gun connects. Oh, Panzerform missing. T gun decrewed now. Cromwell bouncing. Bit of a fiesta up here. He's going to come out on top. Sentry rounds activated. Cromwell diving in. Bounce. Oh boy. Cromwell guts it out. That's the kill. Sphere one with that as well. Overwhelming push down the bottom. It looks like you were getting forced away. Now, uh, I would say some really lacking infantry. We lost two grenadiers in a short period of time. Emergency war speed on the Cromwell now as well. Steal on the anti tank gun for Kalyon, P. Grins. Make sure that that doesn't happen. The Here comes the Cromwell though. Could go for some crush action. There it goes. He brings on the run. And uh, I want to say he doesn't really have any answer to this. Oh, tried to throw a grenade there. Got prematurely triggered. By the crush. Cromwell oh, looking for the wipe. Oh, I'm quite bad in these kind of situations. Oh, gun facing the wrong direction is quite bad machine guns. It gets it with the main gun. Stop for a bit of accuracy on that last shot. And if the crush. Another retreat from Older Satan. There's Cromwell's been having a field day, Older Satan, with no answer going for the pack now. M1 over here got decrewed for Coma. Looks like he's lost his shiver. No, we did see that earlier, right? Ooh! Now lost the 50 cal. Maybe a slight overextension. Pushing through the center though, could get the decrew on this MG. It's going on negative cover, grenade out. Good dodge. Alright, we're getting out of there. out now for Coleman. Let's see how this one goes. Yui. Let's take Battle Phase 3. Maybe thinking about the Tiger Ace. It did get made a little bit cheaper not too long ago. Used to be 800 manpower, so it's a deal now. More achievable. Bit of Cromwell crush action. Stormtroopers in some big trouble. Here they go now. PP situation. Guys are hit by around 120 at the moment. Yeah, good turn over that machine gun. Now, triple machine guns for Yui could be tough to outposition that. Atlantic tank guns as well, having picked up the M1. So a lot of team weapons donated by Coma. Oh, but maybe going to get one back here. MG goes down, Jackson chasing in, but the M1 in a very nice position to counter this. Jackson has to get out of there. Pyro's coming across to regather the machine gun, so Coma not able to take it back. 
still a pretty bad territory control for the Axis at the moment. If they're trying to save for those heavy tanks, having 16 fuel per minute is not going to cut the mustard. You really need one of those fuel points. The Churchill Crocodile is ready. Want me to break the suppression there. He does manage to squeeze around the side because of that. I thought they might have got resuppressed. Gets the D crew, but again, probably not going to be able to regather that. And well, meanwhile, getting busy up to Vet 2 now. Got the crocodile on the field as well for Kalyon, so this could be some very tough times. For the Axis team incoming. Okay, Churchill coming through the center now. We're losing a capture point. Cromwell nearby also. Still on the MG42. Second one in the hands of Kalyon now. And here comes the crocodile. Small burst of flames. A telemine down there for Yui. That could be bad news for this crocodile. Pressuring the anti tank gun. Can't set up, otherwise, it'll go to deep crude so quickly. It's up now. Pack coming in from the side as well as the Panzer IV. And the Crocodile's armor. Pretty strong, not taking too much damage. And the balls of flame stopping the anti tank gun from pushing back in. Chucks him backing up this rifle push. Maybe having a sight blocked by the shrub line. D crew on the mortar. Jackson on the move. Mm, AT gun very well spread out. That grenade did almost nothing. Now forgot about the rifle squad afterwards. Do get away alive though. Can't cap over here. MG locking down the VP. And the G43P Green's doing some, or well, Stormtroopers rather, doing some nasty work. Barfinders unable to win that one. Deployed. You have a target. Okay, well here comes the worth for now. That's the option for Yui. Not gonna save for that tiger race. Second Jackson out now for Coma. Ooh, and there go the stormtroopers. Not entirely sure. What they were up to over there, but smug nade out to cover the capture. To the show. Here comes the Cromwell through the center. A bit of crush action, but there's double anti tank guns there. Uh oh. Faust as well, double Faust, one more pack shot's all they need, but both connect anyway. And there goes Cromwell. Something you have to be really careful about. And the double anti-tank guns running around and you have to expect a second anti-tank gun in response to that crocodile. Conversation also very close to that tiger, so needs a little bit more manpower now. Oh, might even all. Oh. Hot off on reinforcing some troops for that. Use some amount of damage from the Werfer, but no one was dropped at all. A bit unfortunate with the rocket scatter. MG element ready. We are losing a sector. Ready for orders. Back in action. Only has one engineering squad. Do have crew repairs available in this commander, but only heal for 500 HP, so. Not tremendous. A little bit under half health from the crocodile. Range. 
Okay, those double packs. Got a gammon bomb as well. Push it now. No, the double packs by the rifleman. There's a four coming out that direction. Jackson's. Might have trouble finding an angle. We've got these log piles in the way. I'm looking for the decro on one. Oh boy. Going in for the kill on the Panzer IV. We've got a lot of anti tank guns around here, but. None of them can find the angle on these Jacksons. Pops out the smoke. Yui in some trouble. Got some grenadiers. Pack setting up out the back there. But now the smoke covering the Jacksons. Might be able to get away because of this. Well, Pack set up facing this direction, but. Jacksons didn't chase that far forwards. Back and away, back and away. We've got the tiger rolling through the trees. Can that come through and finish the job on this Jackson? Let's see it coming in the distance. Double packs and hot pursuit. Maybe they'll finish the job. Maybe the tiger won't even be needed. Oh, it felt like it was going really slow there for some reason. Parthing hiccup or something, I'm not entirely sure, but the packs end up finishing the job. Got a pack in the M1. No time to treat there for Kalyon, didn't take too much. Didn't take anything, I don't think. Okay, so now a tiger to answer the crocodile. We have double anti tank guns for Kalyon though as well. Double anti tank gun fist on both sides. Tank round wars into the smoke. Okay, well, there's a couple options to round out the population cap. Could probably squeeze in one more engineer. Maybe a rebuild on a Cromwell. Might just be able to do the same with the Firefly. The Firefly is pretty expensive. Might not maybe be able to achieve that with uh, a couple of squads not on a full. The enemy is taking oh, our territory. Surprising for you, he's going for a Panther now instead of the Ace. Bundle grenade out. No damage from that. Whoa, there goes the 222. Had a good run though, lasting this long. You see that too often, something running and gunning with the MG42. damage in there from the Jackson hitting Vet 1, MG decrewed, bar on the ground there as well. I know what these stormtroopers are hoping to do. Ooh, kind of lucky for the Jackson, both pack shots missing, that would have been the kill. They're both connected, oh but the telemine! Didn't see that one there. Coma, paying the price. Does have a sweeper, just not in the right place to spot that, I guess. Nice mine. He's going through on the tiger now. Still zero kills on the Werfer. So a bit of a shocking start for it. 43 Stormtroopers holding out nicely from behind the cover, even against those LG Paratroopers. The Werfer back edge, just about ready to fire. Nice though, with the triple cap running axis, very long VPs. Need to do something about that fast. And uh, two, no, one more Jackson coming in for coma. There was two in the queue there, I'm not sure how that happened. 
Ooh, that Panther taking a belting. Good positioning on the anti tank guns for Kalyon. Next is capping the bottom VP. With a read of fire. Coming through the center. Anti tank guns need to rotate for there. We have the Mordrow. Could lob some smoke into the center, assist with the cap. Here comes the Wurfer Strike, double anti tank guns. Ooh, they hang on by a thread. Good Wurfer Strike though from Yui, just not quite getting the results there. Close to bit one after that though. Here comes the Crocodile, same story. Here come the double anti tank guns. Lining up on the Crocodile. Some good damage, but now they're under threat from the riflemen. Panther's there, but Panther can't really do too much against the infantry. So the M1 decruit. Crocodile back in the center, preventing the capture. At least the points are stopped. Drain against the Axis right now. Now both teams actually wanting to kill off that M1. Oh, fires go down there so quickly. Send a grenade out, but the rifle an easy dodge on that. Oh, that's a lot of damage onto the Jackson. Bit of a traffic jam here. One down. The other one backing away for the moment. Oh, big time traffic jam. Tough ha tank handling there for Coma, losing that. Telemines over here. Okay. Swept up by the rear echelon. Okay, here comes the worth for strike. I'm hoping to catch the packs in the exact same position, but they're a little bit further back this time. And there's a big whiff. damage onto the Firefly. Let's see how the end of the good time. Tiger doesn't blitz through. The lights are capping down the bottom. Axis once again on the drain. And this Panther just has not been that helpful for the Axis. Good bit of damage from the double anti tank gun Tiger combo. Firefly double anti tank guns back the other way though. Tiger in some trouble now, getting hit by the Tulip rockets. Surviving though. Panther on the move. Okay, he's gonna go toe to toe with the Jackson coming in now. Wasn't on prioritized vehicles, so sh shoots a shot at the paratroopers. A little bit slow chasing in, but no sneering scores nearby for Coma. Does have access to the P47s now though. Hex coming down to the bottom, but getting decrewed very, very quickly by the paratroopers. Still could be a pretty good trade. Oh. Uh-oh. Bazooka squad coming in on the rear. Oh, the Panther gets the kill. Can it get away now? Popping smoke, popping the blitz. Here come the P-47s, though. Can they finish the job? On the run. Ooh. Gets away. Close call. Cool. Paying the price, not having any sneering squads nearby there. Not enough anti tank support. But still, the VPs are looking very good for the Allies at this stage. Stormtroopers coming into the center, trying to get something done, but triggering the mine there. Got a machine gun as well. Can't get anything done. The Germans only have 
to wonder if they would have had more success down the bottom instead. Bazooka Ares, look like they went down. There's just nothing capping at the moment. Satan trying to come into the center. 12 VPs left. He should be throwing it all in here, getting these pyos in. He's repairing out the back instead. And that is not going to be enough to get the job done. Mobilizing it now, but it's too late. It's already at zero. The triple cap's been running for too long. And the allies take down the win. Well, yeah, I'm not sure. The Panther wasn't terribly good up until right at the end. Caught the isolated Jackson and knocked it out. But yeah, by that stage, it was a little bit too late. Maybe uh, Yui missing a bit of anti-infantry. Constantly getting those machine guns decrewed towards the end of the game. Double packs also getting destroyed as well. Really fell off in those last five or so minutes, Yui. Hold of Satan was doing okay once the Tiger arrived. But yeah, the double mechanized assault groups, not really a big fan of them, and they didn't really work out terribly well. But yeah. Anyway, well played by the Alice. Solid action, you know, the mod pit in the center can be very, very tough to deal with, and the Axis didn't really contest those two VPs very much after that point. Kind of uh, evidencing that as well. But yeah, I'll wrap on that. If you like your game recast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye, and good luck.